Hey, it's Vaughn here at your jazzdrumschool.com YouTube channel. Aloha, hope you're doing well. So I got some shoes laid out here. What's all that about? Well, one of the things we don't think about a lot when we play drums is footwear. So when I'm playing in the studio here and making my videos for you, you often see me wearing these shoes. Actually, all the time wearing these shoes. I'm wearing these red Converse All-Stars. I love All-Stars for playing drums because it feels like a second skin. I mean, I'm doing this kind of anything with my pedals. It, it just feels so comfortable. And I love them. And where I learned about them was years ago seeing a Jojo Mayer video on how to play with heel toe technique on the bass drum. And he was playing in some black Converse All Stars. I'll put the link below in the description so you can check out the video if I can find it. And it's a great video about how to play that technique, but also helped kind of highlight the, the fact that, wow, you know, maybe I should try some Converse All Stars. I did, and I absolutely love them for my drum practice and for my video production. Now you notice I have a couple of other pairs. When I go to recording studios in Japan, uh, you often cannot wear your own outside shoes into the studio. You have to either wear the studio provided slippers or you have to bring your own inside shoes. And being a drummer, I cannot wear house slippers to play drums. Sorry, maybe I'm weak, but that doesn't work for me. So I bring my own kicks. And these kicks work great. These are a little bit kind of a more modern version than the red ones that I use uh, here in the studio. These are a more have more padding, more cushion in them, which is nice. Not so much that I can't feel the pedals like with the thinner All Stars, but definitely more comfortable, especially because I'm going to be doing a lot more walking, uh, moving things around. I want to support my back and my body, so these are a great, uh, great, great shoe to do that. Also, they're colorful. I like a colorful shoe. Uh, continuing in that, that line of thinking, these are also other shoes that I use in the recording studio. Uh, they're kind of modeled on that original Converse All-Star high top kind of version, but they are a modern version of that. They've got a, lots of nice cushion on the inside. Very, very comfortable. Now, when I'm going with a gig, I'm going to wear a different kind of shoe. And most of my gigs, uh, I'm wearing kind of muted colors, dark colors, wearing suits, things like that. And I need to have a shoe that is both comfortable and dressy at the same time. And this is a shoe that I use. This is my go-to shoe. It's made by Asics. And it's a really great shoe, made a lot, I think, more for drummers, a little older drummers probably, uh, because it's got a lot of support. Uh, it's got really nice, anti-skid kind of uh, material on the bottom, rubberized. Uh, definitely you're not going to fall on your okole. Uh, it's Hawaiian for butt. Uh, you're not going to fall on your, your okole when you're out on the gig in these shoes. Uh, and really very, very comfortable. They're not so thick uh, like some dress shoes where you can't actually feel the pedals. Uh, I feel like they're just kind of like that great uh, kind of happy medium between being a really comfortable, super comfortable shoe and being really great for playing drums. Now, because we load so much equipment and usually so much more than other musicians, we have to be cognizant. We have to be aware of our body when we're doing this. And if we're wearing shoes like super dressy shoes uh, that often don't have a lot of support, we could end up injuring ourselves uh, unnecessarily. So you want to pick shoes that are going to really support your body, support your back especially, uh, with all the lifting that you're going to be doing, moving things in and out of the gig. So I encourage you to do some research. I'll put links to all these uh, below in the description as much as I can find. Uh, and you know I encourage you to go check them out and just go look at some shoes and make sure you get some good shoes that really are going to help you play your best. If you haven't already, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my channel. Be sure to like the video if you like it. That helps to get around YouTube a little easier. And drop a comment. Let me know what kind of shoes you like to use when you're practicing and what kind of shoes you like to use when you're in the recording studio or you're on the gig. I'd love to know. All right. Keep swinging, my friend.